Hey, what's up guys? This evening we're going to be creating a staggered CSS menu with some animation thrown in. The menu is going to be staggered and not all in sync, so each menu item is going to have a delay. So let's dive right in. Okay, so first off we're going to be creating a toggle button. Um, we're just going to create a span element and give it a name of toggle me. So we're going to give this um, span a an ID of toggle menu. Now it depends on what way you want to access this menu. You could easily use a hover function, but just for simplicity on this tutorial, we're going to be using a click function. So this button, quote unquote, this span element is going to act as a button to access the menu. So next up, we create the nav. So we create our unordered list. We create our list items. And we give them some names. So home about, let's say we have some services to offer. Uh, we've got a team and you can even contact us. So we're going to give this nav an ID of primary nav. I think that does the job. Okay, so let's see what we're actually dealing with here. Let's open inspect so we can hard refresh. Okay, so pretty basic menu. Next up, we're going to style it. So we pop into our CSS file and we are going to, um, first up, let's just, hmm, let's just play with the toggle button for the moment. Let's give it a display of block because span elements are in line. And we just want to push the nav down a bit. We could easily um, play with the margin on the nav element, but just, you know, there's, there's a million different ways to skinning a cat with web design. This is just the way I'm going to go for um, this evening. So let's give it a bit of padding of, say, 20 pixels. And let's give it a cursor of pointer. And that just brings up the little hand icon if we hover over it. Okay, so if we refresh this page, great. So now when we hover over this, it acts like a link. Cool. So now we're going to style the menu. If anybody knows um, how to turn off these, oh, I don't even know what they are, these helpful indents, de-indents um, from the new Dreamweaver version in CC, please um, let me know because this is seriously annoying. They did an update um, a few, uh, few months back, I guess, and ever since then, it's not quite right. So anyway, I digress. With um, the primary nav, we're going to give it a width of 300 pixels. And now we're going to create the list items. Uh, the styles. So by default, list items are inline as well. So we want to create, create a, we want to create a block level and property. Give it a background color of red for the moment. 
no margins. Give it a bottom border of one pixel. Now we're going to actually give it a width of 0%. And we'll explain why in a moment. Okay, so get rid of that width um, property for the moment. So here's what we're left with. So actually, we'll just give it, um, we'll just, we'll style the whole thing. We'll pop down into the lower sub child, which is the hyperlink. So we're going to give this a color of white. and a padding of maybe 10 pixels and again let's um make the display block okay let's see oh, again i need to um get it in my head that canary is my testing browser okay and we'll just get rid of width for the moment and let's just give it a text decoration of none. So we don't want any underlying style on the um so yeah we don't want any um text decoration text underline on the link. Okay, great, cool. So now we've got our, actually we'll just bring that back to width zero. So yeah, so we want this width zero because we're going to be animating it using CSS. Um, so that looks great. It looks all styled. So next, uh, we got the menu styled. We got our, we got our um, quote unquote button, our faux button, our fake button, um, our span toggle. And next we're going to be creating, we're going to be adding a class to So we're going to be adding a class to each of these list items. So if we click toggle me, we want each of these classes, sorry, each of these list items to um, have a class. And that class um, we'll be using through CSS to animate. So what we're going to do is target the menu, which is, the um, span dot toggle menu. Next, we want to target the menu items, which is nav um, property. Sorry, nav um, with an ID of primary nav and then the list item. With the menu, when we click it, we add our click handler. That's what we want. When we click the menu item, which is the span.toggle uh, quote unquote button, we want this guy to toggle a class, which means add a class and remove the class. Let's give it a class of is active. 
So let's just have a look at um, our inspection uh, panel. Okay, so this won't be animating for the moment. It's just to show you um, the class is going to be added. So right now there's no class. And if we click this span.toggle quote unquote button, we get a class of is active. And if we click it again, the class is empty. So there's no, there is no in is active class anymore. Okay, so, so far so good. Um, next we need to link it up um, through CSS. And we need to basically make it all <laughs> working, all animated. So let's get to that right now. So if we just copy this for the moment. Um, we're in line here. Cool. Okay, so if we target the is active class, um, is active. Okay, we're going to give it a mm, we're going to give it a transition property with a width value and a duration of five hundred milliseconds. So it will take half a second to actually expand um, the, the menu, the menu items. Give it a width of 100%, which is um, the parent of the list item, which is the nav. So it's 300 pixels. Um, so let me just, let's just see what happens when we play with that now. So if we toggle now, we'll see it's all animated, but it's all not in it's all in sync. We don't want that. We want it scattered. So one here, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. We want a delay of maybe um, one hundred milliseconds between them. If we um, click toggle again. It will just uh, go back to default without any animation because we haven't, uh, haven't um, worked on that CSS at the moment. CSS at the moment. So if we toggle again, okay, it's just it's all animated at the moment. But that's not what we want. So if I start targeting. So if I start targeting the first list item using the nth child uh, pseudo selector, and we'll give this a we give this a transition delay of maybe one hundred milliseconds. Let's see what that looks like at the moment. So you'll see right there, the first item has a delay of 100 milliseconds. And now we need to actually create the delays on the next list items. So we'll copy and paste this um, four more times. And we'll change the value of the nth child selector to match the corresponding list items. So we're going to give these um, a 100 millisecond delay on the first item, 200 milliseconds on the second item, and so on. 400 on the second last and 500 on the last item. So 
now this should be nice and scattered yeah cool that looks pretty goddamn good if i do say so myself so now the only other uh, thing to finish is the fade in the slide in so here it just it's harsh it just it just displays none so it removes the class so here we have is active on each of the list items we click toggle they just remove they just are removed which works but to make it look that bit better we are going to copy and paste this item here which is the global list item and we're just going to remove the is active class so when the list item class has been removed this is what we want to happen so we're going to add a transition property give it a width of 500 milliseconds again but this time we want it to animate to 0% instead of 100% because we're minimizing and let's just see what that looks like now okay so we toggle the menu great now we toggle the menu to close transition what am i missing oh right Hold on. Okay, now it's actually properly formatted. So let's try that again. So toggle the menu. Stagger, stagger. Nice. Toggle the menu again. Great. And we just do the same thing of copy and pasting these. And we add the exact same transition delay, but in this case, we're just going to. get rid of the is active class because it's the exact same animation so here's the first uh, list item here with the minimize and maximize properties toggle toggle great so we do the same thing for the rest of the list items. Just remove again, just removing the is active class. And number five. That looks good, I think. So let's see it all together. So toggle the menu. Cool. Toggle to close. Cool. Stagger in, stagger out. And there you have it. Not much more, really. So it should give you a good basis to um, add a menu of like this uh, to your own project. Um, as I said before, this is just I'm just using a click function. You could easily use a hover function. That's entirely up to you. Um, but that's it for the moment. Um, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.